know or did you know that you can embed Google Docs live Google Sheets, by the way, right into a web page. So if I was to update this Google Sheet in Google Sheets, it would also automatically then update on the web page. Now, this particular example, and it's a case scenario of how you might use this, for instance, is for your event listings. If you're running any kind of events, network meetings, workshops, webinars, something like that, you may have, like me, quite an extensive list of events coming up for the year. For instance, uh, here is my calendar for 2025, and there are some events for the free um, sessions that haven't been set yet. So if I update this meanwhile, before I go ahead and then add in um, you know, all of the thumbnails for all of the events, basically this just acts as a great interim calendar. So basically this is really easy to do and I'm gonna show you how you can embed a live Google Sheet into a web page. All you're gonna do is go to your particular Google Sheet. So here is the one that I have embedded in that page. Click on File, Share, and publish to the web. Now from there, you click on embed and you need to press publish on the page that you want to publish and then simply grab the URL. So if I grab that URL now by pressing copy, go to the page builder or the web page that you wanna place this on. I've just picked a completely random example here, uh, but this might be called uh, upcoming events for instance. Just doing this as a demo. And in here, I'm simply gonna add what's called a code or HTML section. So that's that code section we've got there. Drag and drop the code, and then open the code editor, paste the code in from your Google Doc, and that will just take a minute to load. I'm gonna press save. You do need to press publish on this to be able to, to view it, but I will just see if it will let us do a preview even without it being published. Let's have a look. Scroll down, da, 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 da. there we go. Now, interestingly, this has saved it in a small preview format. So here is actually another trick that I have used to get ChatGPT to help me resize things like this with code. So for example, I can go over to here, let's grab a new ChatGPT over here. And I'm gonna simply say, please, um, help me edit this code so that the Google Sheet shows in full. Press paste and then da -da 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 -da, you just adjust its width and height. Here is an improved for it version of your iframe code. So it's going to give you the whole code. It will then explain it, which is really cool. So just give it a little moment. It's still writing. Brilliant, so I'm gonna press copy code. We go back to our web page over here, go back into the custom code, open the code editor, delete the code that's there and paste in your new one, press save, press save again, go back to our preview, wait for it to save first of all. And we can now press refresh and basically you can just keep asking ChatGPT to edit that and of course as you can see here because I've got this in two columns that's not a great view um, if I had that in one single column on its own like for instance we could just remove this section here boom now we'd be able to view it all the way across because now I've deleted that particular section so there you go that is how you can embed a live Google Doc such as an events calendar for instance um, into a web page so that if you're updating this behind the scenes, so is your web page going to be updated in real time. If you need more fun, awesome tech tips like this, come and join the Legends Lab where I teach lots of cool techie tricks to help you grow your business. Happy teching!